everybody, this is Lovey from Zal. I'm here with Silver Shadow and I'm here to present to you the Gilboa Snake. This is the Gilboa Snake. It is a two barrel AR type rifle with two independent firing systems. The snake has two separate triggers as you can see here and it receives two standard magazines. The lower receiver and buttstock are made of reinforced composite material and the upper receiver and handguard are made of aluminium. The most important is the collimator. It is an integral part of the rifle that aligns the barrels. In this video, I'll explain how to calibrate the snake rifle. But pay attention that your Gilbois rifle is different than almost every other firearm in the market. You must read, understand, and follow the instructions and warnings in the manual. Snake's barrels are 30 millimeters apart and shooting at 25 meters the points of impact should look like this. The concept of calibration is very simple. It's a combination of barrel alignment and sight zeroing. The collimator moves the right barrel POI vertically and the left one horizontally. The collimator has four main parts, right barrel alignment, left barrel alignment, right barrel locked, and left barrel lock. The calibration is comprised of three stages. Stage one, initial sight zeroing, stage two, barrel alignment, and stage three, final sight zeroing. Initial sight zeroing. Fire the right barrel only. Align the sights so the hips are 5 cm below the point of aim and 1.5 cm to the right. Marking the hits and mean POI helps distinguish right from left. Fire the left barrel only and mark the hits and mean POI. As you can see, we need to move the upper right hits down to the same level as the left hits, and we need to move the left hits towards the right hits. That we have 30 millimeters apart between them two. To do so, first open the locking screws. Adjust the alignment screws as needed. The alignment screws have clicks. One square equals two clicks. When done, lock the locking screws. Repeat right and left shooting to verify the alignments. It is recommended to calibrate each barrel separately. That is, calibrate the right one and then the left one. Final sight zeroing. As you can see, sight zeroing is not yet complete. Align the sights so POA falls symmetrically between the right and left POIs and 5 centimeters above them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly did. And if you have any questions, anything you would like to know, feel free to contact us. And as you know, double the fire, double the fun. <laughs>